press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Namaste and welcome to this broadcast. Today this 10 minute show is on the situation in West Bengal. Uh, West Bengal, the latest you've seen is that Shubhendu Adhikari, the transport minister has quit the cabinet, quit the Trimul Congress and is uh, now embarked on his own course. What is the importance of Shubhendu Adhikari that you have to really look at this from the point of view that the family, his father Shishir Adhikari is an MP from Kontai or Kanti it is called and uh, his brother Dibendu is an MP from Tamluk. Uh, before him, before Shubhendu switched over to the assembly, he used to be the MP from Tamluk. One MP constituency in West Bengal has seven assembly segments. So 7 plus 7, 14 assembly segments are covered by his family alone. Shishir Adhikari is himself a, a very seasoned politician who was the chairman of the Kanti municipality for almost uh, 25 years. Where exactly is this place? This, these places, this is East Midnapur district or Medinipur it is, as it is called. Earlier it used to be one district, Midnapur district. Now it's divided into east and west. And it borders the 24 Parganas district, which is now divided into north and south 24 Parganas. So Shubhendu Adhikari, let me first uh, highlight this on a map because uh, uh, a map depicts this situation the best. So let's have the West Bengal map on the screen now. Uh, Can we have the map, please? So while the map uh, flashes on the screen, let me tell you the situation that uh, the East Midnapur district has 16 assembly constituencies and West Midnapur district has 19 assembly constituencies and North and South 24 Parganas district, which are actually on both sides of Calcutta. They have something like 33 plus 31 as 64 districts, as many as 64 assembly constituencies. Now, uh, you see that little khaki kind of a patch right down in the southern side, on, on the south side. And uh, yeah, so this is this is this is what is being highlighted oh can, can you bring the cursor over there okay yeah so this 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 particular portion is uh, what is the roughly the east minapur district and to the east of it is part of the south 24 parganas that little patch in the yellow that you see between the pink and the green is uh, Kolkata and on either side of that is the North 24 Parganas and the Howrah districts. So this is roughly the area of influence of the Adhikaris and if you just talk about the Midnapur district alone including the East and West that is 35 constituencies. Just imagine 35 constituencies and uh, that seaboard that you see that uh, has places like on either side of uh, Kantai, you have uh, Diga on one side, that Diga, that famous beach town of uh, West Bengal. And uh, on the uh, eastern side, uh, northeastern side, you have uh, Haldia. And uh, if you go towards the west, you have uh, the Kharagpur industrial area and uh, the Kharagpur railway town. That's uh, one of the biggest railway towns in West Bengal. <clears throat> Together, these 35 districts can make or break any political outfit. And Nandigram is also 
within East Midnapur district. And you remember, Trinamool Congress was catapulted into reckoning only after the Nandigram agitation. And who led the Nandigram agitation? Remember, Shubendu Adhikari. So Shubendu Adhikari in many ways can be credited to to be the person, can be given the credit as being the person who actually changed the fortunes of Trinamool Congress. That was the time that he mobilized so many people and so effectively that Nandigram agitation became some kind of a light motive of uh, Trinamool Congress and uh, completely demolished the narrative that the CPM had built over more than 30 years. So that is the importance of Shubhendu Adhikari. When I say that why Shubhendu Adhikari is important and why TMC is now definitely going down the hill, in the end, I will try and predict what is going to be the fortune if things, things stay as they are. Even if Shubhendu Adhikari does not join BJP, he just stays away from TMC. What is the situation going to be? in West Bengal, I am going to predict. I am going to put my neck out and I am going to predict what is going to happen. Okay. So uh, here we are. Now let us look at what is happening to Trinamool Congress this time. Even though Tirumul Congress won only 22 seats against 2018 seats that were won by the BJP. East Midnapur seats, both the seats, were won by TMC. Tamluk and Kontai, both seats were won by the Adhikaris. Shishir Adhikari, he won Kontai and Tamluk, the Bendu, his brother, won the other seat, the Tamluk seat, so Kontai and Tamluk. These two seats, they are there in East Midnapur. So that is the importance. In fact, because of these two seats, they had a definite impact also on the neighboring seats. And because of that, TMC was able to maintain a slight edge over the BJP. Otherwise, if any of these seats had been breached, then BJP would have become a runaway winner and would have probably got something like uh, 25 to 30 seats. So the BJP juggernaut was actually stopped in its track by the Adhikari brothers even during the parliamentary elections when BJP was rampaging all over. In West Midnapur, it did win. So in East Midnapur, it was halted. And because of that, so South uh, uh, 24 Parganas also, it did not win March. In Kolkata also it came, it, it, it did not have a, a great success. And now, because of this happening, then all these seats are affected. Of course, East Midnapur, West Midnapur are directly affected. The South 24 Parganas and Kolkata, that 11 seats are there in Kolkata metropolitan area. Even those 11 seats are going to be affected because Adhikaris are also the Bhadralok. And Bhadralok have a great influence in this area. Bhadralok actually set the narrative. And Bhadralok sets the narrative. Then TMC is going to lose this election. TMC is already weak in the North Bengal area. The three districts, Kuch Bihar, Alipur Dwar, Jalpai Gudi, and the fourth, Darjeeling. In all these four districts, they are quite weak. Then you come down to North Dinajpur and South Dinajpur, there's heavy polarization. So heavy polarization is going to benefit BJP there. Then you come down to Malda, Murshidabad, Nadia, all these districts. And these are uh, districts where CPM and uh, <coughs> Congress, they still retain a lot of influence. So the TMC is going to battle it out over there. And then you come into the wide expanse, you know, where the, uh, there is this kind of this, uh, widening out. And then you go into the tribal areas of Birbhum, Purulia, Makura, and then you come down to the Midnapur area. And of course, you do have the uh, industrial belt of uh, Bardhavan, 
Hogli, Aura, Calcutta, all this is there. So what is going to be my prediction? If Shubhendu Adhikari stays out as he is, then my prediction is that a lot many more MLAs, especially from these areas, at least 25, 30 MLAs are going to quit TMC over the next two months. TMC, in fact, uh, I am told that there is going to be a confidence motion, a no confidence motion uh, going to be moved by the BJP soon. Let's see when that happens. But I think the game is that uh, uh, a, con a no confidence motion is brought, the TMC government is brought down. I doubt, of course, whether this move would be supported by the left and for the Congress, but you never know. Because if the elections are held without uh, TMC being in power, then you can guarantee a very, very impartial and fair elections. Otherwise, TMC is known and using strong arm tactics. So in the end, with Shubhendu Adhikari gone, Mukul Roy having gone much earlier, my prediction is that this election, the 2021 election, will be won by BJP with at least 160 seats. OK, that's it. Namaste. Jai Hind, Vande Mataram. Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update.